Are you ready to take a wild ride into the dark underworld of crime and deceit? Today, we bring you the stories of 10 of the FBI's most wanted women in 2023. These women have committed heinous crimes and managed to avoid getting captured, becoming the subjects of nationwide manhunts. Number 10. Julianne Baldueza Dimitrion Mortgage fraud charges were brought against 39-year-old Julianne Baldueza Dimitrion and her husband, John Dimitrion, back in February 2010. They admitted to running a real estate scam, which involved taking money from struggling homeowners and using it to support their own luxurious lifestyles. The couple told their targets they would invest the cash. The FBI claims that Julianne's investments included pricey clothes, upscale lingerie, luxury handbags, shoes, and more. According to investigators, the couple was last seen on July 2, 2010, in an Oahu church. When they didn't show up for their sentence, warrants were issued, and a search was quickly launched to find them. There is no information about the couple using commercial planes, and they left their automobile behind, so it's unclear how they've been able to travel. No news of their capture has been released, so Julianne and her husband are likely still on the run. Number 9. Joanne Debra Chesmard Joanne Chesmard, a member of the Black Liberation Army, broke out of jail while incarcerated for the 1973 murder of a police officer named Werner Forster on the New Jersey Turnpike. She was originally sentenced to life in prison, but she wasn't going to let that stop her. The North Carolina-born Chesmard, who was raised in Queens, New York City, was an activist in college and assumed leadership of the Black Panther Party's Harlem chapter before switching over to the Black Liberation Army. The most well-known alias Chesmard has used is Asata Shakur. According to the FBI, she has requested political asylum in Cuba since 1984 and is reportedly still there. The Bureau warns that she would be regarded as dangerous and armed. Number 8. Sherlyn Tomeko the category of fugitives on the FBI's website labeled parental kidnappings is dominated by criminal women. After going through six years of legal proceedings, Texas nurse Sherlyn Tomeko and her boyfriend were granted joint custody of their young daughter, Alexandria Camille Cyprian, in December 2006. The FBI said that Tomeko disobeyed the court order by leaving with her child the following May. It is suspected that the couple and Alexandria are in Costa Rica. Tomeko was charged with one count of kidnapping in 2000. Even though Tomeko's daughter would now be about 23 years old, the lawsuit remains open. Number 7. Nazira Marie Cross Cross, a former employee at Reno High School and a citizen of Costa Rica, has gone by several names, including Nazira M. Ugalde, Nazira Maria Johnson, Nazira Ugalde, and Nasira Johnson, but many refer to her as the Black Widow. Cross has been charged with killing her ex-husband Mike Cross after he reportedly caught her stealing money out of their company. According to investigators, Nazira poisoned him at their home in Plumas County, California, before taking him to his ranch in Lovelock, Nevada, where he was on the verge of death and clinging to life. Then, according to the allegations, she buried his body and repeatedly drove her car over the tiny grave. Much more information about this bizarre case can be found in her profile on the America's Most Wanted website, including a report saying that she supposedly cashed herself three large checks from her ex's business account the day he passed away. She should be regarded as armed, dangerous, and a flight risk if you come into contact with her, according to the FBI. Number 6. Josephine Sunshine Overraker Josephine Sunshine Overraker has been charged with being an eco-terrorist. She allegedly is a member of The Family, a terrorist cell operating out of the Pacific Northwest who commits crimes under the guise of the Animal Liberation Front and Earth Liberation Front. She was accused of two counts of conspiracy to commit arson and the destruction of an energy facility. She visited Germany for a short time, according to investigators on her case, and may currently be staying in Spain. What would you do if someone you knew was on the FBI's most wanted list? Would you turn them in? Let us know in the comments down below, and be sure to subscribe while you're there. Now, back to the video. Number 5. Hazel Leota Head A waitress named Hazel Leota Head has a history of frequently moving around the country. 
She has up to 10 previous marriages under her belt and has used over two dozen different aliases. She is sought by the FBI in connection to a 1998 slaying of a man in Benton, Louisiana, who was shot in the back of the head inside his personal trailer. According to investigators, Head used to place personal advertisements, hanging out at truck stops, and travel with drivers to meet different men. She has been wanted by Nebraska police since 1991 on suspicion of setting fire to her boyfriend's trailer after the murder. The FBI warns that Head should be treated as extremely dangerous and armed. Number 4. Donna Joan Borup In relation to a September 1981 anti-apartheid protest that quickly turned into mayhem, Donna Joan Borup is still wanted. She is accused of throwing an acid liquid at Port Authority police officer Evan Goodstein during a demonstration at New York's Kennedy International Airport and partially blinding him. Authorities claim that at the time of her arrest, Borup was a member of the 19th Communist Organization, a Marxist-Leninist group. The organization was an offshoot of the Weathermen, who promoted an armed revolution and the violent destruction of the American government as a whole. She was supposed to appear for her May 1982 trial, but the FBI claims she never did. As a result, a warrant was issued, and a few months later, another for evading arrest was sent out. She is considered to have a photographic memory and is exceptionally clever, according to the Bureau's website, and she has relatives in both Pennsylvania and New Jersey. She was between the ages of 29 and 34 at the time, making her somewhere between the ages of 59 and 64 today, based on the several birth dates she's given. She has also gone by aliases like Donna Astupchuk, Donna Borup, and Rebecca Ann Morgan. Borup's wanted poster ran on the Clear Channel billboard in Times Square last year, but 30 years after her disappearance, she remains at large. The woman is dangerous and should be regarded as such if you ever encounter her. Number 3. Elizabeth Anna Duke Elizabeth Anna Duke, a former teacher, was allegedly a member of the infamous May 19th communist group from the late 1970s and early 1980s, which took credit for destroying several American governmental buildings, including the U.S. Senate back in 1983. She was detained in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and charged with conspiracy and possessing a weapon. But she somehow managed to vanish and has been missing ever since October 1985, according to the FBI. Duke who was 44 at the time of her disappearance, would be 71 years old today. She is known to have ties to Texas, speaks fluent Spanish, and frequently travels close to the northern Canadian border. She should be considered dangerous and armed, according to the FBI. Number 2. Rosemary Lorraine Godbolt Mulder Previously employed as a police dispatcher and convenience store clerk, Rosemary Lorraine Godbolt Mulder has spent the last 20 years on the run after being accused of killing her stepson, Rayshawn Omar Alexander, who was just five years old at the time. In 1989, Godbolt Mulder carried the injured youngster into an army hospital, where he died not long after. According to the investigators, the child's cracked skull and multiple bruises were caused by severe prolonged physical abuse, which was also the cause of death, according to the autopsy. Godbolt Mulder was then detained, given a bond, and released, but she never showed up for her next pretrial hearing. She has successfully been able to elude the FBI ever since. Number 1. Amparo Alta Garcia Montas Hernandez. At the top of our list, we have Amparo Alta Gracias Montas Hernandez. Amparo was the owner of a bar and beauty parlor. She and her son, Eddie Vasquez, were wanted on suspicion of harboring illegal immigrants and escaping the country in violation of the law. Montas Hernandez was also allegedly running prostitution rings in southwest Florida. According to the FBI, many of her female employees were undocumented immigrants from Latin America who were coerced into prostitution in order to repay loans to individuals who helped them enter the United States illegally. The two were officially charged in August 2005, but they avoided capture for about a month before arrest warrants were issued. Montas Hernandez is Dominican and has connections to people in Boston and New York. It's important to remember that these individuals should not be underestimated by any means. They have proven themselves to be intelligent and resourceful, and they have the potential to cause significant harm if challenged. 
We hope that this video has shed some light on the FBI's top 10 most wanted women in 2023, and that it has encouraged you to be careful and to always report suspicious activity to the authorities. The FBI relies on the general public's help in tracking down these dangerous suspects, and every extra bit of information helps. Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for future exciting content just like this. Thank you for watching.